Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and I just finished a delicious espresso at Mushale Cave in Prague. And in this video, we'll look into one aspect of espresso preparation, and that's tamping. For years, choosing the temper and learning how to temp was a crucial step into making consistently excellent espressos. We even made a video about it with our friend Gwilym Davies. He thought the right and simple technique to hundreds of baristas around the world. But now, he doesn't like to do it anymore. He much prefers automatic tempers. And since we never worked behind the bar, we decided to visit him in his training center and ask him for more. I've been using these hand tampers now for 19 years. Before this, I was using a little piece of plastic attached to a grinder for one year. I love them. Uh, I have my favorites, I have far too many of them, but I don't really use them that often these days, to be honest. I've definitely fallen in love with automatic tamping. reasons? Well, it's faster, it's more consistent, yes we know that, but it's more than that. I like the idea that the conversation about tamping has gone away. No longer do I have to stand working in a cafe arguing or discussing different tamping techniques. We can now concentrate on much more important things. Bringing puck press into Proofrog, it was very early on when uh, we first came across puck press and it had to be tested first because we're not going to put anything in that's going to change the workflow without testing it first. So there was uh, Michael Cameron in Australia. I did a short one myself and then Proof Rock and all three tests said it was more consistent than a barista. It was faster than a barista. So yeah, it went on board. And then it's strange for baristas sometimes, like it takes a few hours to get used to it. And then once you've tried it, you don't really want to go back again. Is it taking away the craft? <laughs> I'm a barista trainer and I actually earn my money from teaching people how to tamp with these. And I don't want to do it anymore. I really don't want to teach people how to tamp with these. One, I know it's not great for their health if they're in a busy cafe. And the second is, it takes too much time and correction when it's much easier to just teach them how to use an automatic tamper. I don't think they're gonna get great life skills out of learning how to uh, use one of these. I'd rather teach them something that's gonna be much more relevant to them and, and their life. I think I... it's fear. Really, fear that somebody's taking their job away, their craft, but really that isn't the craft. That is not the craft. That is not the craft. Pouring latte art is craft, that's good. Calibrating the grinder and knowing how to taste it, that's the craft. Communicating to the customer, that's craft, but that isn't craft. So my normal routine is uh, grind, vertical distribution, dak, dak, check the weight, horizontal distribution, nice and level, in the puck press, wipe, in. When people try it for the first time, they're always shocked because uh, they put it in the puck press and they think, what do I do now? <laughs> they, they stood there for a moment. It's like, oh, I just put it in the machine, press the button, it's done. It's like, yeah, because you, you're thinking it's too easy. Huh? Duh. <laughs> yeah, there, there's definitely disadvantages of being a barista and only using the puck press because uh, what happens if the puck press bakes? It's like, do you know how to use one of these? Do you know what sort of tamper to use? Would you tamp twice? Because my puck press tamps twice when you don't need to tamp twice. It's like, yeah, a barista should know this, 
but I would say this is becoming more of an advanced skill than a basic skill in some ways. Doesn't mean dear. Also, you can't just use a puck press and expect it to be perfect. You have to clean it. You have to give a little brush underneath and you have to make sure that it's set correctly. If it's not set correctly, it'll consistently give you a tamp that isn't straight. Okay, to set it up, the first, the easiest bit to set up is the tamping pressure. Now you can easily change that here by increasing the tamping pressure or decreasing the tamping pressure. I keep it on the lowest level, 10, because I don't want people to use a hand tamp with a higher pressure than 10. So I just keep the automatic tamper on 10 as well to prove that it's fine, it's okay. Second thing, it's a little bit more difficult. What you want is the forks to be set so there is very little movement here, so it slides in. Now this is a little bit too loose, but I use two different machines and I use different portabilities. So what I do is there's a little bit extra room and I just keep my hand loose and it seems to tamp flat. If I was in a cafe, I'd have this a little bit closer and it's easy enough. Take off the top, turn it upside down, put in a little piece of paper, grab this, which actually comes with it, which is perfect. And you adjust the size of the forks so that it fits in nicely. So I put in a little piece of paper across here, tighten it up, and then just leave it alone. So very easy to set up, not, not, not like rocket science. The price of a puck press is actually a bit of a disadvantage. It's quite an investment for some cafes, especially if you're making less than 250 coffees a day. You might not be able to afford a puck press. So yeah, use Tampa. But once you start getting busier than about 250, I would. I would definitely be thinking of changing over to a puck press. It's, it's, it's kind of end of the discussion. We use this, we're obsessed with them. I still love them, I like using them, but it's done, it's finished. We don't need to discuss about tamping anymore. You put it in the machine, you clean the machine, you make sure it's straight, you put it in the special machine, press the button, get on with the important part of the job. Spending time talking and focusing on tamping, it's, it's gone now. There's much more important things to be. We've, we've, we've gone up. We've gone up in our evolution. <laughs> it's time to stop talking about tamping. So not really much to say. Oh, another question people ask is why does it tamp two times? It's like, I don't know why it tamps two times. <laughs> It's not important, right? I don't think it's that important, but no, it works, so I don't, don't worry about it. Don't tamp two times with your uh, hand tamper. Once is enough. Don't go wasting or doubling the amount of effort 